I think it would be awesome if somebody showed me a resume and said, here's version one and here's version two of this project that I did. It's so exciting to always be learning. Math is a lot more than just numbers. Math is about everything. I used to love it when we would discuss these uh, sophomore or junior level classes. People's eyes actually shine. And it's like one of the most rewarding things, you know. It's important to recognize that you work with people because at the end of the day, we have to work together in teams. You don't have to come from a wealthy background. You don't have to have an Ivy League degree. You just have to be honest. Mathematics is, is the only subject in the world that has defined its own boundaries very clearly. I'm Naveed Iqbal and I'm an applied mathematician. I work as a head of data science at a small company called Rove. Do a lot of things. So one of the things I do, for example, is software development. You have to write the, the code that makes the app what it is. So if you hit a button, the button you know does something. Then what people don't realize often is that the app doesn't just live on your phone there's another part of the app that lives somewhere else that they have to communicate. And so you have to write that part as well. Uh, and then you have to make sure that they're communicating properly. And when you're doing stuff that's, that can be important, like somebody's banking information, you want to make sure that the communication is also secure. And so you have to test to make sure that nothing gets broken or if somebody had bad intentions, they weren't able to actually steal somebody's data. I help with the finances, for example, build financial models. How do you hire the right people for the right jobs? a lot of different things. It usually starts with a very clear communication with the rest of the team about what we did yesterday and what we're planning on doing today, the most important things. Executing on the plan that I came up with yesterday. Interacting with our, with our mobile app developers, helping him test the application that he's written. Uh, finding bugs or making suggestions in, in color, or how you say things, and stuff like that. So that was the, the f most of the day. And then in the evening we had what we call a sprint plan, where we all get together and we discuss the week. Like, what are we going to do this week? A very full day. Changes every day. The nature of the, of, of the data changes every day. So you could ask the same question today and the same question tomorrow and have different answers. It's so exciting to always be learning. It's really, really interesting. I think learning and the fact that it changes uh, is, is, is what really excites me the most. The truth is very important to me. Mathematics is, is the only subject in the world that has defined its own boundaries very clearly. Math is about ultimate truth. Once you show them to be true, cannot be shown to be untrue. There are some things that you can't show are true or not true. And so that leaves you with a bit of a situation. That's the point, is that you do it because you can. There are always going to be questions that you don't know the answer to. And so you can spend, you can have so much fun thinking about them. You can contribute to yourself and to the rest of mankind by sitting in a room and thinking. You have a lot of professions that are romanticized. A soldier, for example, they go out to war, see movies about it, it's very exciting. They're heroes, lawyers, go and they argue in the Supreme Court and people are like, oh my gosh, I want to be like this person. Mathematicians are the same way. Mathematicians enable a lot of that. Yeah, I think mathematicians are heroes. I've been fortunate to work on teams that help make decisions that can affect millions of people. And that's the hardest thing. I used to work at a bank and I used to work in digital authentication. When you go to your computer and you type in your password and username and you get into your bank account, I used to help build systems around that. You'd have to make decisions around how to make sure our customers were being able to access their money but stopping the bad people from getting our customers this money. Those decisions were very hard to make because you're dealing with millions of people, 50, 60 million people. You make one decision, it immediately affects that many people, you know? And that's such a hard thing to deal with because, you know, inevitably it, it happens, you can't be perfect. Taking that responsibility, it's it in itself a very difficult thing to do. You're trying to convince somebody that to do something that's going to be good for them, but then at the same time you take on a very huge responsibility to make sure that you can keep their little nest egg safe. I think the most important thing is that math is a lot of fun. Math is a lot more than just numbers. Math is about business, math is about people, math is about pictures, math is about everything.
look at this guy, he's a mathematician, that's why he's talking like this, you know. I think that's that's the biggest secret. And I, and I, I would really wish, and this is why I'm trying to do these kinds of things, I would really wish other people could see that. One of the happiest times in my life was uh, when I was a graduate student and I had the, the opportunity and privilege to be a teaching assistant and, and, and help teach. I used to love it when we would discuss these uh, sophomore or junior level classes. I went to a school that had a lot of engineers. They'd be all sitting and we'd be talking about a very hard subject. I'd be trying to solve a problem. And then suddenly you turn around and all you see is bright lights. All the, all the students, that, when they get the idea, people's eyes actually shine. And it's like one of the most rewarding things, you know, when you go from seeing somebody who's concerned or confused, maybe a bit scared, and then finally they understand and their eyes light up. And I wish I could, I could help more people see that beauty, you know. What kind of projects they've solved, they've done in the past? When you ask somebody for different projects that they've worked on, you get an idea of what kind of things that they're good at, what kind of things are important to them. You get an idea of how they can contribute to your team, what kind of a person they are. Tell me about a problem you solved that was really interesting mathematically and how you communicated that problem to a business person. Really important for a data science. It's important to communicate your well-roundedness somehow. The number of other courses that would, that would make you interesting, if you've competed in something, uh, you should write that down. Compete against yourself because you can see the person competing against themselves and actually see what they've learned. I think it would be awesome if somebody showed me a resume and said, here's version one and here's version two of this project that I did. I think that would be so amazing. I think getting a degree is extremely important, but I think learning how to think the right way is even more important. The understanding of math is very important. Um, not necessarily only for the math, as a mathematician it hurts me to say that, <laughs> but not only for the time, but because you learn how to think about things a certain way. You learn to be very critical of yourself, uh, of others, and of your data. And so I think math is extremely important. Most people don't understand is that yes, being good at math is very important for a data scientist, but it's also very important to be good at business. Extremely important for, for anybody who's trying to do data science to learn more than one language. The data scientist needs to, needs to communicate with the data. So there's different languages to talk to the data. A data scientist needs to do things fast and efficiently. If you really want to be able to contribute across the board, it's very important that you pick the right tool for the right job. And in many cases for a data scientist, it's a computer language. Yeah, so very, very important. If you can take math classes and you can take some business classes, and then you can combine those with some communications classes, then you're what I consider a true data scientist. Honesty with yourself and with the people that you work with, extremely important. Resilience is very, very important. Being able to be wrong many, many times and still wake up and try the next day. Openness to learning. It's important to recognize that you work with people because at the end of the day, we have to work together in teams. There's a lot of talk and, and research into artificial general intelligence, making it actually something that's artificially intelligent. I think, I think we're very far away from that, but I think that there's a lot of really interesting work going on that's going to start coming into the mainstream, that's going to change the qualifications, basically, of what you need to be a data scientist. I've had a very unusual career path. Got my first degree, uh, my undergraduate degree in applied mathematics. I got a job as a software developer. I did that for one year and then I got bored and I went back to school and I did my master's in operations research. One year after I started my PhD, I uh, needed to take a break. And so I went and I worked as a senior risk analyst at a bank. Then I decided that no, that wasn't for me. I wanted to go back to school. So I went back to school and I finished my PhD and I was very fortunate to become a, to get hired as a data scientist um, at another big bank. A year and a half after that, I am very fortunate to be part of the founding team of this fantastic startup. I think it's extremely important that you talk to people and that you're open about sharing your ideas and listening to other people's ideas. I think that's essentially been my secret <laughs> to success. Having lots of very interesting uh, conversations with my neighbor. And then he invited me to meet somebody else. And then the two of them and, and I, with the three of us, would meet and we'd have conversations. We'd just talk about things. And then they invited me to come and join their company. 
was like, that's fantastic. Yes, I'll do it. You don't have to come from a wealthy background. You don't have to have an Ivy League degree. You just have to be honest and curious. I used to love space and I used to love physics. I used to read all these books. I barely understood what was going on, but I knew there were planets and there were stars and atoms and stuff like that. And then I got to high school and I met this wonderful teacher, Sufyan Alamri. He made, helped me realize that physics is really cool, but what I was really, really interested in was the math, the mechanisms behind that physics. My doctoral advisor, Dr. Ugur Abdullah, he's a god amongst us ordinary people, you know? You think about uh, Gauss, Hilbert, Kurt Gödel. Entire areas of mathematics developed by women. For Ladizanskaya, Emily Noter. What's your favorite food? Any type of Indian food. What do you do in your free time? I like to read a lot. What is one thing you cannot live without? My wife. What's your favorite book? The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Leo Africanus by uh, Amin Malouf. Uh, who are you grateful the most? My parents. What makes you sad? Other people being sad. What makes you happy? Other people and myself being happy. You should get into my profession if you are. Excited. Curious. If you're curious, you should do my profession. Do it. You should not get into my profession if you are. If you don't like change. My job is the instability. How things change. From one day I'm going to be doing finance models. The next day I'm trying to build a marketing strategy with my friends. But the next day I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to ask data questions. And so it, uh, what you have to be good at changes from day to day. My friend, best thing I can tell you is don't waste time. Do things. If you say you're going to do something, then you should do that thing. Keep asking questions and it's okay to be wrong and it's okay to fail. The people who are most successful in this world are the ones who have failed the most. Take some time, collect yourself and, and then try again. And you just never stop doing that and I think you'll be very happy.